today's video we are going to discuss how to find out the inverse jet transform using the convolution theorem so according to the convolution theorem if z inverse of capital f of z is equal to f of n and z inverse of capital g of z is equal to g of n then z inverse of capital f of z into capital g of z is equal to so we have to multiply these two functions that is f of n star g of n so which can be written as sigma m is equal to 0 to n f of m into g of n minus m so using this convolution theorem we are going to evaluate z inverse of z square by z minus 1 into z minus 3 using the convolution theorem so first of all we need two functions one is f of z and another one is g of z and let's split so in the solution see here first of all this can be written as z transform of this is z square by this is z minus 1 into z minus 3 clear so we have to make two functions here that is z inverse of so this can be written as z by z minus 1 into this is z by z minus 3 so we can use this as z inverse of see here this can be clearly this is f of z dot this is g of z so i'll make inverse z transforms of both that is z inverse of capital f of z is nothing but small f of n and let's see here inverse z transform of this is z by z minus 1 is equal to so since we have inverse z transform of since z inverse of z by z minus a can be written as a power n so here in place of a we have n so this can be written as 1 power n and clearly z inverse of capital G of Z is equal to G of N. So, the second function here is nothing but Z by Z minus 3. So, this is Z by Z minus 3. So, which is equal to in place of A we have 3. So, this can be written as 3 power N. So, this value is nothing but, so for capital F of Z the value is nothing but F of N. So, here F of N value is 1 power N and here 3 power N is nothing but this is g power n. So, now we have to make inverse jet transforms. So, according to the convolution theorem. See, what is this convolution theorem? According to the convolution theorem, we have the formula like this. Now, z inverse of what is capital F of z? That is z by, this is z minus 1. And this is z by, see here, z minus 3. So, this is z minus c. Now, this is nothing but f of n star g of n. So, we have to make the convolution between the two functions. So, what is f of n according to our question? f of n is nothing but this is 1 power n which is equal to 1. And g of n is nothing but 3 power n. So, now I am going to substitute here as 1 power n into this one is 3 power n. That is 1 power n star this is 3 power n and according to our convolution theorem this can be written as sigma m is equal to 0 to n f of m so this is 1 power m into this is 3 power n minus m so this is n minus m clear so this can be written as see here this is sigma m is equal to 0 to n 1 into anything is nothing but same thing that is 3 power n minus m so after this n minus m so i am going to substitute all the values here m as 0 1 2 3 and so on so if i substitute m as 0 see clearly this is 3 power n minus 0 plus after that if i put m is, m is equal to 1 here this will be 3 power n minus 1 after that 2 here that is m minus 2 plus 3 power n minus 3 plus and so on. If I keep on substituting, last final value is n. So, n minus n. So, clear. So, this is nothing but 3 power n plus 3 power n minus 1 plus 3 power n minus 2 plus and so on. Anything to the power of 0 is again 1. So, if I put it in an order, this is first one 3 power n 
plus 3 power 1, this is 3 square and so on. This is 3 power n minus 2 plus 3 power n minus 1 and this is 3 power n. So, 2 plus 3 is equals to 3 plus 2. So, I am writing in an order. So, this is nothing but it is in the geometrical progression GP. So, here the first thing here is, so A is equal to 3 power 0. 3 power 0 is nothing but A is equal to 1. And the common difference here, so here the common difference R is equal to, see here, the common difference R is equal to 3 here. And see the number of terms, the number of terms. How many number of terms here? From 1 till n, they are n terms and extra this one. n plus 1 terms are there. So, according to the geometric progression, see the sum of the series is nothing but a into r power n minus 1 by, this is r minus 1, here n. a is nothing but 3 power 0, this is 1 and r is nothing but the common difference 3, number of terms, number of terms are n plus 1 minus 1 by here again r is 1. Therefore, here 3 minus 1 is 2. So, this is going to be half into 3 power n plus 1 minus 1. So, this is the final answer. Therefore, our inverse z transform for, therefore, the inverse z transform for z square by, this is z minus 1 into z minus 3 is nothing but half times of 3 power n plus 1 minus 1. And this is how we have to solve and, and I am going to upload a few more problems. Please watch and practice definitely. It will be very helpful. Thank you so much.